Welcome to the final episode of the first round of a special series inspired by you! See, while I answer viewer questions daily on Morning Movie News, I came across three that I thought deserved in-depth answers. Today's question comes from KKLove51, who wrote the following. It appears that the Inhumans are going to be playing a big role in the future of the Marvel Universe. So I was wondering if you think that Marvel is pushing for this change for the purpose of using them in future films. I would also like to know if you think that Marvel is replacing mutants with Inhumans since they don't own the rights to the X-Men and most mutant characters. And do you think that they could portray Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch as Inhumans and not mutants? I actually really like the Inhumans and would love to see a film about them, but I don't want them replacing my X-Men. I hear you, KK Love 51, but it doesn't look like Marvel Studios has a choice as Fox does have their mutants all tied up. However, let's take a moment first to get everyone else up to speed. The push that KK Love 51 is talking about is that the current mega crossover comic book event Infinity is going to lead directly into Inhumanity, which Marvel has already begun to promote. For those of you reading Infinity, you might recall that in a battle between Thanos and the Inhuman King Black Bolt, yes, the Inhumans have a royal family, the Terrigen Mists were released across the globe. What are the Terrigen Mists? Well, millions of years ago, the alien Kree race discovered Earth and decided to experiment on its primitive people in the hopes of building a superpowered army. They succeeded, scientifically creating a new species of humans as opposed to mutants who are simply evolved humans. But when a prophecy predicted that this new race would bring about the destruction of the Kree Empire, the Inhumans were abandoned and set up their own society. Not only do they have a royal family, but also selective breeding, creating something of a class system. This is because the Terrigen Mists, which trigger the Inhumans' latent powers via exposure, have wildly uneven and sometimes disastrous results. So those who are to undergo the transformation ceremony, where they are exposed to the mists, must be carefully chosen. This is the way the Inhumans have lived for ages and how they were first introduced in the comics. But now, with the Terrigen Mists released en masse on Earth, anyone with any Inhuman blood in them was instantly given powers, which aren't decided at random, but rather reflect one's personality. So while the X-Men are a superhero take on discrimination with social and political undertones, the Inhumans are more mythological with elements of fantasy and royal intrigue. Think Game of Thrones meets King Arthur's Avalon with a twist of sci-fi due to their alien origin. In fact, the Kree are already set to pop up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Phase 2 with Guardians of the Galaxy. Lee Pace is one of the film's main villains, Ronan the Accuser, who was a major player in the Inhuman storyline. And indeed, Stan Lee also recently let slip that Marvel Studios is actively trying to develop an Inhumans movie. That makes total sense when you think about this upcoming Inhumanity event happening in the pages of Marvel this December, including a new ongoing comic called Inhuman that's main purpose is to reintroduce them to readers as well as depict them living amongst us, kind of like mutants. Plus, in Marvel's promotional artwork for New York Comic Con earlier this year, you'll notice they focused primarily on their cinematic characters, including the Winter Soldier and Falcon, as well as the Inhuman King and Queen, Black Bolt and Medusa. In fact, a keen comic book reader will notice that Marvel is putting less and less effort into those characters they sold off to other studios, instead trying to build up the ones they already have on the silver screen or plan to in the near future. As for whether or not Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch will be Inhumans, well, Quicksilver did marry Inhuman Princess Crystal, so if he ends up part of the family anyway... What do you think? Are the Inhumans a suitable replacement for the X-Men? And will mainstream moviegoers be able to wrap their heads around a Marvel Cinematic Universe that includes superpowered humans on Earth, demigods from the realm of Asgard, aliens fighting it out in deep space, and a royal fantasy? That's like saying Lord of the Rings and Terminator exist in the same movie universe. Write your own thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and you can check out answers to these other viewer questions right now.